Hey guys, hey man, 63607 here. And I'm not happy. Do you want to know why I'm not happy? Because I have the unfortunate displeasure of reviewing this. Sia's music. I'm going to be honest, I'll be surprised if I actually review this calmly. But enough of that horse shit. Let's just get this shit over with. But before I do, wearing a white shirt. I'd wear blue, but this movie doesn't deserve the honor of having me wear a colored shirt. So... Cue the intro, and let's just fucking go. I don't want to think about you, think about me. Don't want to figure this out. I don't want to think about you, or think about nothing. Don't want to talk this one out. This time I won't let you bring me down. Don't let you shut me down. This time I know. I don't want to think about you. So the movie properly starts with the titular music waking up and going through her morning routine. <laughs> so then music's grandmother is feeding her breakfast and braiding her hair and then sends her out on her morning walk. And we see that music is quite popular in her little corner of the world. Little Miss Muffet, where have you been hiding yourself? Got a lot of pups for you today. Uh... Ten dog, new National Geographic, gold mine. Uh... There's a Great Dane, and a Golden Retriever, and a Doberman Pitcher. <laughs> so meanwhile with music's grandmother, she suddenly collapses and, well dies. So Music comes home from her walk and their neighbor George sees that Music's grandmother is dead. It's alright. It's okay. Just sleeping. It's okay. Oh, that acting is so, so, so bad. Not helped by the fact that for those who don't know, the autistic character is not played by an autistic actress. Because ableism! So we cut to this lady. Mm. Oh, I must have dozed off! Everybody was just talking and talking, and the next thing I knew, I am dreaming of a Beautiful, beautiful paradise. Far away from here. I already fucking hate her. For future reference, that's Zoo. Yes, that's actually her name. Well, that's what she's called. Her full name is Kazoo. Like K-A-Z-U. But I'm gonna call her Zoo. So, back at Music's apartment, Zoo shows up and continues to prove that she is the absolute fucking worst. She didn't happen to mention a will, did she, George? Oh yeah, she did. She said, I don't want this movie to fucking exist! So, Zoo tries to get Music's attention. Music. 
me too. I'm your sister. <laughs> well, I'm your half sister, technically. Uh, Zoo. Uh, no. Just no. You don't force an autistic person to give you attention. So later that night, Zoo tries to get rid of music. I don't even have to show the fucking clip. So the next morning... Make you eggs. Make you oh. egg! Make you egg! What time is it? Make you egg! Make Stop. you egg! Stop! Make you eggs is not a time. Make you egg! Oh. Make you egg! Okay, I got it. Make you egg! When I look up information on this movie, it tends to tell me that music is nonverbal. She clearly is not nonverbal. Nonverbal equals no talking. And here she is, fucking talking. She is verbal. Does this fucking movie not know that? Well, actually, I, I shouldn't even have to answer that. If this movie knew that, she wouldn't be talking. And then we get... her meltdown. Wait your hair. I don't have hair. It's too short. So I'm not Wait your hair. Wait your hair. Uh, uh, I don't know. Wait your hair. Wait your hair. I got it. I don't know Wait how. Wait your hair. Wait your hair. Wait your hair. <laughs> This scene is unfairly stereotypical and portrayed so fucking incorrectly. And that's coming from a fellow autistic person. I know autistic people can have meltdowns over stupid shit. And if that's what you're trying to portray, that's fine. But Jesus fucking Christ. Can you at least portray it fucking correctly? So this guy, Ebo, comes in and manages to calm music down in a form of restraint that is hurtful to autistic people! Let that sink in! This movie is actively telling you if you want your autistic child to calm down, you fucking hurt him! I fucking hate this movie. So, Ebo explains to Zoo how he actually has his own experience with special needs individuals. Kinda cool. And later we see her trying to bond with music. And failing. And meanwhile we see her getting wrapped up in her little drug dealing business. <sighs> As if I didn't hate her already. And so later we see Ebo trying to teach music how to communicate. But before I continue, allow me to get into a little tangent. I have no problem with music being verbal. That's fine. I do know autistics who 99% of the time they don't say shit. But, like, there is 1% of the time I'll hear them say something. That's accurate. That's fine. But, this movie, and a lot of the promotional material I've seen from this movie, treats her like she is completely nonverbal. Which she is not. She is still verbal. She can't speak full sentences, but she can still speak. So, you see the problem I'm having? Anyway, let's just 
move on from that, okay? So later, Ebo is explaining to Zoo how music lives her life. I'm not saying she doesn't want to change. I'm saying she can't change. Well, it's one thing we both have in common. For her, each change comes with a barrage of new stimuli. Mm -hmm. The headphones. Uh, uh. It's called audio filtering. Her hearing is so sensitive, she can hear whispering two rooms away. What? It's true. <laughs> she sees the world in a completely different way from us. But then they make the mistake of taking music to a crowded park! Ebo, you've clearly established you have your experience with special needs individuals. Hell, I'm going to assume you have your own experience with music. Why in the name of God would you take her to a crowded fucking park? You idiot. And of course we see she is having another meltdown. Although this one, I'm actually more willing to believe than the first one. Because I've actually had this shit happen. Not to music's full extent, but it's happened. Oh God. Music. No, don't do that thing. I'm not climbing on top of a small screaming white girl in the middle of this park. It's your turn. My turn. You can do this. I'll talk you through it. Go ahead. <sighs> it's scenes like this that make people either fear or hate having an autistic child. Which I'm not going to say I don't understand. I do. But. When. This movie, which I'm going to assume it's spreading awareness, or it's trying to spread awareness. When this movie, from what I'm understanding, is going to do nothing but make people's fears worse. This movie is clearly doing something fucking wrong. Hell, I know it's doing something wrong because, again, it's promoting a form of restraint that hurts and I have seen reports, it fucking kills autistic children. So, what the fuck does that tell you? <sighs> and then we get this. It's alright. Thank you. Honestly, if I was there in that situation and those people were staring at me... I would be fucking pissed. So later that night, Ebo reveals to Zoo that his wife left him for his brother. Ouch. So later on, Zoo decides to bring music to a drug deal. I fucking hate Zoo. And Zoo meets Sia. You know... You making this movie is bad enough, but did you have to appear in it? So later on that day, Zoo is walking music through the park again, where she has an allergic reaction to a bee sting, and afterwards, Zoo has a mental breakdown and gets drunk. She then tries to talk with Ebo, but... Zoo. Back up! It's alright. What's that come to? Anyway, the next morning... She breaks down and opens up to Ebo, only for him to leave. And over time, we see Zoo only fail miserably at life. And this movie, being the discriminatory, ableist piece of shit that it is, blames music! But because I didn't hate this movie enough, Zoo decides to give up on music entirely. But 
But then the movie tries to have some kind of emotional moment, but fails miserably. And at Ebo's brother's wedding, Zoo informs Ebo that she is going to take care of music, and that she wants to be with him, and yada yada yada. And then... You know, this moment would be nice if it wasn't fucking bullshit. They've already established she can not speak full sentences. And now they're expecting me to believe that she could sing this whole song. And not even that. She's singing at such a low pitch, I doubt anybody could hear her. <sighs> and the movie ends with music getting a service dog. This movie is actually pretty good. Of course it isn't! This movie sucks! This movie legitimately offends me. It is a horrible representation of autism and seems to do nothing but make its reputation fucking worse than it already is. It is horribly stereotypical and everything that goes wrong in this movie, it seems to blame music for it. In fact, this movie does nothing but inspire fear in people with autistic children. I do not want to watch this film ever again after this review. But with that said, I'm going to wrap it up here. I hope everybody attached to this movie steps on Lego bricks. And until next time, Hey Man is out. And I'm going to go watch something that doesn't suck.